Hey everyone, it's Ashley. Welcome back. Today I wanted to talk to you about lip blushing. I had lip blushing done three weeks ago, so I'm all healed, ready for my touch up, but just real quick, I kind of wanted to take you through what it is, a little bit of the process and the healing, and why I think it is a good idea. So lip blushing, sometimes people call it lip tattooing. It is not lip tattooing. Lip tattooing goes deeper into the skin and lip tattooing definitely looks a little harsh. With lip blushing, they are not going as deep. They are using organic pigments and it's made to look more natural, kind of like a just bitten lip look. And it's also used to make your lips look fuller, more luscious. You can go darker if you wanted to, but the great thing is if you have a little bit of asymmetry or your lips are too dark, too light, they can work with that. Lip blushing lasts anywhere from two to five years, depending on you know, your body chemistry, how you take care of your lips, all that stuff. And as you can see, I do need my touch ups, so the inside of my lips are definitely not as pigmented but already I think it looks pretty awesome. So the healing time with your lips peeling, it's about five days. I feel like the worst is the first two days because that's where like the inside of your lips are peeling and it's the most disgusting. But then the following three days are pretty seamless. It happens, you know, pretty fast. I didn't really notice it that much, but total healing time is three weeks. When you get the lip blushing done, it definitely comes out darker than how it's going to heal. It'll slough off. Your pigment will kind of start to come up and develop. And by three weeks, that's kind of the end game and the color that you will have. So the overall process was not too bad. They, they line your lips, they color them in, they use concealer to outline your lips to make sure that they have the shape perfectly as to how you want it. And then for me, the lining was done before they put the numbing cream on and that kind of sucked, but if you've had a tattoo, um, it's kind of like how you go numb after a while. And then they numbed my lips and then they filled everything else in and it did look darker at first, but I kind of really liked it. And then now I have this beautiful, beautiful lip shade, natural looking shade. And all I have on right now is Aquaphor, like if I just wipe off bottom of my lip, that's all I have on my lip right now. And right now, my lips look like the Charlotte Tilbury Pelotoc lipstick. I will include a clip with that so you can see my comparison. Hey guys, so I just wanted to show you something cool I noticed about my lip shade. Um, so I got in the mail with my Sephora purchase a little um, Charlotte Tilbury Matte Revolution in the shade Pillow Talk. Pillow Talk's a big deal. It's pretty, pretty popular. So I'm gonna show you there's nothing on my lips. Maybe a little bit of foundation. Nothing. It's clean. And then take the lipstick. Put it on half my lips. And um, that's a pretty close match. That's pretty awesome. So with the shade that my lady the lady who does my brows and my lips chose is close to the Charlotte Tilbury, bleh, Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk shade. I mean, that's awesome. That's so great. So as I said, I do need a touch up. I'm going in about three weeks to get my touch up done and it shouldn't take as long, hopefully because the outline of my lips are all done and everything right now. But I'm really glad I did it. It's the same lady that does my ombre brows, which I'm also getting them touched up in the same appointment. So I'm gonna look really sexy for a while. But if you have thin lips that just need a little bit of plumping, maybe just a nice pigmentation, I think this is a really natural, cool thing you can do. And I do have that rosacea and eczema around my lips. And as you can see, I had no issues with that, no issues during healing. I was worried I was gonna have an outbreak, but nothing like that happened. The only thing was that immediately after, my lips were pretty swollen, but they went down like within a half an hour. So that is it. I know it's just a short little guy, 
I definitely do not regret it. I can't wait to get my touch up and be completely done and uh, just have some beautiful lips. All right, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Now go have yourself an awesome day.